Ho, ho, ho. Welcome to Pro Trader Strategies Market Commentary. My name's Eric Santa Claus Wilkinson. Some of you may recognize me from the North Pole, your local mall, or anywhere in between. Please keep in mind that everything that we talk about in these market commentaries is not a solicitation to buy or sell any of these securities or strategies. At the end of the day, we're here to teach you some different strategies that you can implement into your own portfolios, but please do that in your own way. The reason why I can't give you a recommendation on a particular stock or strategy is because I don't know your risk parameters. I don't know what's in your portfolios. Therefore, what I'm doing could be counterintuitive to what you are already doing. All right, having that out of the way, let's get this on. We've got a lot of economic data coming out today. Core durable goods uh, came in a little bit lower than expected, probably because I'm making all the toys for Christmas. Uh, core PCE, which is the uh, index that takes out food and energy for uh, the consumer expenditures, and that came in in line with expectations. Durable goods orders, a little bit higher than expected because I actually have to pay for some of my toys these days. I can't make them all. The elves just can't keep up. Uh, and new home sales came in lower than expected, which is a little bit surprising. I thought that the uh, bump up in the interest rates for uh, the Fed fund rate would cause some people to get off of the uh, uh, porch and get out there shopping for new homes and doing some refinancing. But uh, the new home sales was a little bit surprising. And uh, University of Michigan consumer sentiment came in right around in line with expectations. Uh, so crude oil inventory is a big surprise today. Drawdown of almost 6 million barrels. Uh, as you remember last uh, month, it was a build of almost 5 million barrels. They were only expecting a build of 1.4 million barrels this month. So the overall market has uh, shrugged off some of that negative data and pushed a little bit higher. Like I talked about, this is going to be a little bit of window dressing uh, going into the end of the year. I think that the funds are going to try and push this stuff a little bit higher. Uh, as you can see here, the E-mini NASDAQ chart is showing that we're up about 16 points right now, uh, up just above that value area high. Uh, here's a chart of the E-mini S&Ps. Uh, we're up about 13, almost 14 points right now. Now, this is what I was talking about yesterday. Now that we're on the above the value area high, if the market comes down here and settles below this value area high, that's where you would want to short it because it's going to want to go down here and test this uh, point of control. So that, again, today you have that opportunity if it settles down below there. But moving on to what trades I've done, haven't done a whole lot today. It's pretty quiet, uh, but I did need to add uh, some short deltas to my portfolio. I'm getting a little bit long on my deltas. So I looked at IBM plus everything with high implied volatility right now, I already have in my portfolio. So I needed to look at some other things to, uh, to implement here. And IBM seemed to fit the book. It's kind of pushed up uh, pretty good, uh, close to the 50 day moving average. So I'm hoping that that's gonna act as a little bit of resistance. Plus it's been in a pretty, uh, pretty good down cycle here. So I ended up doing the January 135 puts. I bought those for 89 cents. So I paid a debit of 89 cents for that trade. Uh, looking for it to push down a little bit further. And then UNG. So UNG uh, has been pushing higher and uh, we're starting to get a little bit of a bounce here. Like I said, I wouldn't mind owning UNG down here at these levels before and uh, have on some puts already in there. But I ended up doing it's kind of like a super bull spread, if you will. And what that is, is I wanted to sell the puts. So I sold the seven puts in January and then bought the eight calls for a credit of 16 cents. So, uh, or sorry, got a credit of 16 cents. So I used those calls or those puts that I sold and uh, to buy the call. So looking for an up move in there, right? You know, so we found a nice little support here. Sold the seven puts because I wouldn't mind owning it below seven anyway. So uh, that's how I played that trade. 
I sold the puts to finance my long call position and got a credit for it. So that was nice. So even if they expire worthless, then, uh, then I still get to keep that credit. Uh, today, we're going to do the webinars. Usually we do the webinars on Friday. We're going to do the webinar today on uh, this uh, idea that the since the NYSE is getting rid of stop orders, we're going to implement strategies around that. And we started out a couple of weeks ago and did one on puts. Then we expanded that by adding the call to finance those puts. And now we're going to expand upon that even further because if you have the call on and this market really spikes through, for instance, like what we saw in something like GMCR. So if there's a stock that you have in your core portfolio that you're kind of worried about a takeover, something like GMCR or Twitter, uh, something along those lines where Twitter still hasn't found any uh, leadership in that company. And it's getting close to a point where it could be a buyout. But like you can see here in GMCR, now if we had just sold the calls up here on the 57 calls, let's say, or the 60 calls and then bought the puts because we were worried about the downside risk in that. Well, if it spiked up, we would have to sell out of our stock down here at the 60 area. What we're going to do is we're going to add on that and define that risk. So we're going to, uh, since we're short the calls against our stock, we're going to buy some calls a little bit higher, maybe $10 higher. So in case there's something really out of the blue that happens, we will be able to participate on that upside in those uh, in our long stock. So it's just a little bit of a play on that. So we're going to try and do this all so we can do it all for uh, no cost at all. So we're going to try and do, sell the call spread in order to finance that put and be able to have on a synthetic stop with a limit order. But this will enable us to participate on some kind of takeover or something out of the blue where it just really spikes a lot higher. All right, so check that out. Hope you guys can all make it. Like I said, today at uh, 4.15 Eastern, 3 o'clock Central, and on the West Coast, it's going to be uh, something like 1 o'clock, right? All right, that's all I got for you guys today. And if you can't take that, take it easy.